Every Carnegie Hall Festival, there is uh, there's quite a bit of research that is conducted. And in June of 2013, I went to South Africa with my colleagues Anna Weber and Andrew Byrne, and uh, the three of us explored the breadth of South African culture. There was a lot of listening, concerts that were already scheduled, a few that were assembled for, um, for our enjoyment, but also a lot of talking because uh, you don't really get a sense for the landscape without talking to the locals. And it was a fascinating uh, set of perspectives that we got. So I personally felt that my, uh, my knowledge of the country, uh, country of my birth changed enormously. My family left South Africa when I was about three, so I don't have many memories of living there before we emigrated to the United States. But we would go back quite often to visit, and even as a child I remember that there was a dissonance. They were two different types of worlds with two different sets of rules. It's been a, a huge thrill to watch from a distance how South Africa has changed for the better in these years. I've gone back with some frequency to see family, but one gets a very different portrait of a culture when you're visiting family than one gets when one is doing research for a festival that's supposed to re represent the breadth of a culture. The one message that came across very clearly from the youngest group of South Africans, the generation that's known as the born frees, those who, who never experienced apartheid directly, um, and that, that opinion was, um, to the older generation, we are grateful for your struggle. Um, we are grateful for, um, for the rights that, you, uh, that it has granted us, but we don't want to hear any more about it. Um, our, our job is to construct a new society. Um, and hearing that was fascinating. Um, because it meant that this is a country that, that is ready to move on.